May 2nd, Las Vegas, MGM, it goes down. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Quick video. Um, so it was announced that it looks like the longtime cut man of Floyd Money Mayweather Jr. is coming back. He initially announced his retirement post Maidana 2 fight. Um, long story short, I don't know the insider details, but from what it sounds like, Floyd Mayweather had a ton of problems with the way the Maidana rematch was conducted. He had problems with the way uh, Leonard Ellerby handled certain things. Like, according to him, he wasn't aware that both of his titles at 147 and 154 were at stake in the Maidana fight. Just some of the CEO type of Mayweather promotion duties he doesn't feel were being executed properly by the longtime associate Leonard Ellerby. And I don't know the details with the cut man, Rafael Garcia, but it, it appears that he was one of the people that was on the hot seat at that time too, for whatever reason. And he, he's been um, Floyd Mayweather's cut man for the last 15 years. So to me, it was kind of sad. I've always been told to respect your elders. And I liked him. I thought he had a, he's, you know what I mean? He's an older guy, just real calm, like, you know what I mean? Small. Um, so I felt bad that he, like, that it looked like he retired, but I don't know all the details. Some people said he got fired. Some people said he retired. I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? So I'm not here to speculate since I wasn't a part of that situation. However, it was sad when I first heard last year that he was no longer going to be a part because he used to do the, like the commemorative, put the X over the fighter's eyes in the Mayweather gym. If you watch like all accesses or YouTube videos, you'll frequently see him do that when Mayweather has an opponent. By the speed bag, he usually puts like a Victor Ortiz. And Victor Ortiz, he gonna get it. He ain't vicious. He ain't vicious enough for Floyd Money Mayweather. The number, you know what I'm saying? And Floyd would talk his shit. And then he'd be like, Raphael, put the X over his eyes. And then he would just put the X over his eyes. So it was like a kind of a tradition. And another thing, credit to Raphael Garcia. I thought he did a hell of a job in the first Maidana fight. Maidana outweighed Floyd by a gang of pounds, 10, 15 pounds, something like that. And he was fighting real rough and aggressive. And a cut opened up. And Mayweather's used to being pretty uh, swift and, and using finesse. So he's not really used to getting cut and bleed it, bleeding. And he had a nasty cut that could have been real problematic early against a, an or, unorthodox puncher. Maidana is already hard to see where his punches are coming from, as is. So he had blood leaking in his eye. And I remember Mayweather, I'm not going to say he was panicked, but that was the most uh, panic that I had seen him in in a while he's like i can't fucking see like i can't see like you know what i'm saying he he sound like he he was um a bit panicked and then he, he bit down did what champions do and he, he went on to have a close fight if that's what people want to call it with uh marcos maidana it was a good fight it was definitely entertaining but i i give a lot of props to rafael garcia because he, he stopped that blood from flowing pretty nicely and that cut opened up pretty early so it could have been a lot worse for mayweather again going in against an unorthodox big puncher so a lot of people don't give credit to where credit's due. I try to. So props to Garcia in that situation. And also props, a lot of people sleep on the fact that, that Maidana is really, he's aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So he wasn't able to ultimately cap, like capitalize and knock Mayweather out. So Mayweather did show that championship heart in that moment. So to me, it's good. I, you know what I mean? I don't really like breakups and to see people. And again, he, he's an older dude. I don't know. I'm sure he might be well off with uh, the amount of money he's made with Floyd Mayweather. But it's good to see that Floyd Mayweather is assembling his old team, the people that have been working with him, and they're kind of getting that squared away. And this is nothing new for Floyd Mayweather. He's had random outbursts and kind of sporadic decisions. If you guys remember, I think it was actually on the HBO 24-7 with Victor Ortiz. He cussed out his father, Floyd Sr. And, I mean, he went bad. He went off on his father. He was like, you a faggot. I think he called him a faggot. Uh, he was like... There's only, as far as I'm concerned, there's only two Mayweathers that count. Me, Floyd, and Roger. And I ain't no junior. And he was, you know what I mean? He was like, you ain't beating shit. You sucked as a fighter. He was he was going off on his dad. He said some mean and cruel things that, in a way, you, you probably shouldn't disrespect your parents. But, I mean, to each his own. People got to learn their own way, go through what they go through. And then that relationship had been mended. Because, as you guys know, for the last couple fights... Floyd Sr. has been the trainer, and it seems like ever since then, um, it's been smooth sailing. So it's, it's good to see the fighters that are like, you know what I mean, that, that Mayweather is burying the hatchet, and the people that he started with, they're kind of coming back. Because ultimately, same thing with Pacquiao. Pacquiao is Freddie Roach. Um, I forgot the, 
I forget, he doesn't have Alex Ariza, but um, there was somebody that was a part of his camp. I think an early strength and conditioning coach, and then he he implored him. I think for the Bradley fight, so I think he's coming back to Pacquiao's camp. Pacquiao's been with Freddie Roach long term. He, from what I heard, he's coming back to the states to train. He's already started light training in the Philippines. So, all in all, I like this. I like because May second, I don't want to hear any excuses from anybody. If it's a fight fair and square, no controversy. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? If it's a great fight and we need a rematch, then let's get it. But. I don't want any excuses, so it's good to see both training camps, at least at the early stages, are, are going pretty fluid. Um, Mayweather's getting his old team kind of back together, and Rafael Garcia was informed and instructed to report, so he's no longer going to retire, I guess, and he was instructed to report to the Mayweather gym to begin training on Monday. So Mayweather's going to get back in the gym. He just had his birthday. So all in all, I like this because it looks... From the eye test, from what I'm reading, what I'm hearing, what I'm seeing, that both fighters are taking this fight seriously, and we still have plenty of time. The fight's not till May 2nd. MGM, Las Vegas, and Rafael Garcia is going to be back in the corner as a cut man. So Floyd's assembling his old team. Pacquiao's team's pretty much been intact for a while. Um, if you guys know who I'm talking about, who Pacquiao, they even showed it on the All Access, who Pacquiao brought back. I think it was a strength and conditioning coach from back in the day. Um that was having some problems with Freddie Roach or something. Uh, let me know who I'm thinking of if you guys know what I'm talking about. And let me know what you think of Rafael Garcia back in the Mayweather gym in the corner. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.